I don't hate this part. There's, there's, there's a, a, like, like I said, this literally is not, it's not that bad of a game, but there are some things that you don't have to like. You don't have to like everything about a game. You, you can't dislike something. Like, I can have, like, I, I dislike, um, what? What can I say? Like, Mario 64? No, not really. Can I say that? No. There's really, is there really anything? No. I don't know. No, no. Better at, this is, this sounds stupid, but I hate Banjo Tui, and I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't I hate's a strong word. I do not fancy Banjo Tui. That's dumb. That's even dumber. Uh, Banjo Tui is not to my liking. Better yet, it's a good game. I'll give it that. It is a good game, but I prefer Banjo Kazooie because Banjo Kazooie is like a game you literally can beat in one session. Like fuck, why is it so hard? All I gotta do is just. But pick them in the button stuff with the fucking pitchfork and all that stuff. Why is it so hard? You know, it's not because of the shitty controls. I can tell you that. Because, you know, N64 games, they have the best controls. Have you not seen the control? It looks like a Millennium Falcon had, had sex with the fucking Predator. Predator's hand. I went there, yes. Did I get him? I get to get him. Ah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying with that. I don't know. I'm not good with stuff, stupid shit like that. Um, but yeah, just controls, pretty shit. I'm just saying, just saying, just saying. Buff you, Buff you asshole. <laughs> so dumb. Dumb as shit. This game's so dumb, but I love it! Because it's so dumb, and also, I guess how frustrating it is, but, ah, ah, that's, that's it, that's the game. This is, this is the game that is like the distant friend that you hang out every now, every now and then, but he's a good friend though, but he's distant, so... You kind of don't hang out with him because he lives all the way in 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 the uh, fucking Ar Arkansas. And you live in in California, sunny California, all that stuff. The same. It's like one of those friends, you know. Every time he comes back down, he's like, "Yeah, he's a good guy." But then after like a day or two, he's like, "There's a reason why this guy moved away from me. This is the reason why I wasn't too broken. I was too broken up when this guy left me." All right, I'm just saying that. But yeah, you know, it's, this game has this game has a special charm. I just say that's a special charm. Uh, okay, so what we're doing right now? We're we are for those who just decided to tune on in. We are fighting the boss, as you can see right there. He's in the back room, just chilling out in the back room. It's cool, cool it off in the heat. He has to cool it down. He has to cool it now, and he has to watch out, or else he's gonna fall in love. Just saying, he's gotta cool it down. But um, yeah, it's just. Pretty cool game. You know, fire effects are not too, not too crazy. All that stuff. I mean, like the close, literally, like a, a note different. I know, like a couple of notes difference between the German air music. That's funny. Susie nine millimeter. I'm right here, sweetie pie. Just tell me where to shoot. I think the funny thing about this game too, when you look into it, I think I, when I watched the, the um, a do, like I guess a sort of documentary on this, where there's literally only two people voice all the characters. From what I heard, and I think there's a third person too to, I guess to kind of differ the voices a bit. You know, I can imagine, I can imagine uh, a voice actor, actress, actor or actress, like um, may I only have like making the voices for an entire game. Like, I can't imagine a guy doing the voices for every single character, whether they're female, male, or kid, or an adult. Come on, get close. Yee, yee, yee. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, not there, not yet, not yet. We're gonna go now, here we go. Woot! There we go, press B, right there. Boom, bing, bada, boom, 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 bang. The buses in the game are not too difficult. Uh, like, you, 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 can, you can knock them out fairly easy if you know what you're doing. If it's first time, for your first time, though, you're pretty much gonna be lost. Like, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? What is this? What is it? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to wait behind this thing? What am I supposed to do? Where's my gun? Where's my... What can't use my... I can't use my frying pan or anything? What's up with this? This game sucks. Shit. I should have paid attention. Oh crap. Come on. Come on. Get it on there. Get on Funker. Come on Gunker. I said Funker. I don't know why I said Funker. Alright. Here we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Come on. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Like... 
I, I, I don't know why I do this to myself, but I watch like uh, kids react or elders react or just the reaction the reaction videos. Like, I just it's frustrating to me when I watch that stuff. Like, I don't know why I'm getting frustrated because I'm not I'm not an old fart. I'm not that old. I'm in my mid twenties. It's not not that old. Early early twenties. I'm gonna say that early twenties. I'm in that. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. There we go. Yeah, I'm not an old fart. But then when I see kids just pick up an N64 and say, what? What is this? What? Where? Where? Where is the home screen button? The, what do you mean the game starts? We mean when I put in the when I put this uh, thing inside the game, it starts. What do you mean? It's like, oh god. And why is the N64 control bad? Because it is. Because it's it's it, it's made for only N64 games. Literally, you can't you can't use an N64 control for anything else besides the N64, or else you're pretty much fucked. Right? <laughs> is there people out there using N64 controls to play their Xboxes and all that stuff? But is there is there a service where people are using these outdated controls? Like, I can honestly tell you for one thing that the Wii U control or the Wii control is probably going to be the most useless control. Like, it is the most useless control because you can't use it for anything besides N4, besides Wii U game or Wii games. I keep saying Wii U, damn it. Um. Yeah, I just kids react and elders react and adults react. Just the reaction videos. I don't understand it. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I I can never I can never get on with that. I can never watch videos of somebody watching a video. I can I can watch a video of people talking about what they're doing on the video, but I can't watch a video of somebody like filming their reactions and talking about it. It's it's weird. Like, I I react. I'm not gonna lie. I do react, but I react when I feel like I'm reacting. All right, I'm not one of those people that go, I'm, "Oh my God, look at this guy, robots!" Oh, I'm not one of those people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to endure that. I'm sorry. I just had to give you an example because I don't want you to exit this video and say, "Oh, hey, go watch so and so's video to understand what I'm talking about." No, 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 no. You gotta stay here. You gotta stay here because this is where the party's at, people. The party. We're having a party here. We're not really having a party but you get what i mean all right you get it you get it we're all we're all having fun we're all having fun here but um but yeah just i don't know like i i can't i can't watch reaction videos too much it just annoys me because like why am i watching somebody else react when i could be watching it and react it to myself i'm just saying that all right like i can't handle like i can barely handle somebody in the same room as me reacting crazy to something like Movies in general, like, oh my god, the biggest offenders. If you want, if you want to know what I'm kind of talking about, when people are reacting, it's annoying. The biggest offenders are people who treat movie theaters as if they're watching the movie in their own house. All right, like I, like I'm not lie. There, there's times where I make you know some comments every now and then, but that's that's not during the movie though. That's before the movie. Like I think, I think to me, where I draw the line is if somebody. If you're talking in the, if you're talking to the trailers and all that stuff, yeah, that's, that's you know, the movie hasn't started yet. We're, we we didn't come here to watch the trailers. We came here to watch the movie itself. So, so I'm I'm not gonna give people shit if they decide to talk in the movie or during the trailers, not in the movie, all right? It, during the trailers or the you know the pre the pre or the pre movie things that they're doing lately, like, oh, you know, get here early and you get to you know. Um, you get to see all these cool documentaries and all this stuff, you know, come in early, right? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't care if somebody talks in that. Like, you know, go, go ahead, you know, the movie hasn't started yet, the main, the main thing, the main, the main course is not, is not set in front of us yet, so don't worry about it, don't, don't lose your cool, man, keep your cool, keep your cool, go home and cool down if you have to, but, um, but once the movie starts, I'll give you about... The first two minutes. If you don't shut the fuck up after the first two minutes, then we're gonna have a problem because why are you talking or making comments when we're already so invested in this movie right now? Like after two minutes, like get get everyone we have to sit out of the way as fast as you can, you know, just whatever and stuff. Like oh my god, it's like it's it's so annoying. Like shut the hell up. You came here to watch the movie, not hear you talking. Add your commentary over the movie. Like, I don't care what you have to say about this movie. I, I just want to enjoy this movie. That's that's all I want. Like uh, I can I can name a couple times too. There's, oh god, when I went when I recently went to go not recently I'm not gonna say recently that's dumb to say recently but when I went to go watch um, Jurassic World yeah there we go Jurassic World um it's it's an okay movie I'll give you that all right it's not the worst movie in the world all this so calm calm your tits everybody but 
it's when I go watch it and stuff. There's there's a a guy behind me and stuff. I, was, I watched it with my family. Um, there's a there's a guy behind me and he was making these these dumb comments every single time about the uh, actress, the the main actress in the in the movie and stuff. There's someone, this fucking guy, just wanted to shut the hell up. Like he kind of he kept on making these dumb comments about the, the girl, like about you know. Just, when she's taking off her clothes, or by when the, by the time when she's trying to get ready and stuff, when she took off her coat and she's pretty much in her tank top and stuff, the guy's like, oh, it's like "Dude, we're all we're all watching the movie here. We don't need what we don't need what we don't need we don't need to know what's going on in your mind right now. We don't know we don't need to know that you want to bang this person. All right, we want to just watch this movie and enjoy it ourselves. All right, and let's see who else. Oh, when I went to go see Three Hundred Part Two. Oh. That is the worst. That was the worst experience. I can't even watch that movie anymore because of, because of that experience. Um, the what happened was um, this family in the movie theater. You know, I went to go watch Three Hundred Part Two with my dad and stuff. And you know, we, we watched the first movie and we had we had a good we had a good time. The first Three Hundred was pretty good. You know, painted abs. You know, what's what's more sexy than painted abs on guys or girls or whoever? Uh, I can literally just paint abs on my Xbox One and I can literally watch people go crazy for that. It's like, oh my god, there's the abs on that shit. It's so good. Um, but yeah, when I go when I went to go watch in the movie theater, this family just wouldn't shut the hell up. They just kept on making comments, saying like, "Oh, look, that's me. Oh, that's me. Oh, look, that's so and so. Oh, you just go." And and the, and then you know when you get the then they had the kids, and once the mother dad left, then the kids were like, "Oh, mommy, daddy." It's like, no, shut the fuck up already. Or I have to go pee, or I have to go. It's like, oh my god, just shut up. We just want to watch this movie. Like I. I just, I just, I really wish I, I had no shame and no sympathy. I had, I wish I had no, nothing holding me back where I can just go up and yell at the person and slap the fuck out of him and say, shut up, we're watching the movie here. But no, I can't. I'm a sane person. I'm a sane human being. I can't do that. You can't do that without, you know, without, without repercussions. You can't do it without repercussions. You need repercussions. Because if without repercussions, then we'll be living in the Mad Max world. And we don't want to live in that, do we? No, no, no. You want me, Max? Mad Max? Me, Max? No, not me, Max. Look, I'm even talking about what the. Da, 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 da.